myth, legend, wizard, scientist or a kind soul as many would say. Who is the real Dr. Arunachalam? VSA, Arun, Dr. Arun, Sir? Sure, this is how we all know Dr. Arun as. Ballam Padugai Srinivasa Raghavan Arunachalam was born in 1935 in Ballam Padugai. He completed his education in Mysore and Saga universities. Dr. Arun moved on to work as a scientist at the Baba Atomic Research Center for more than a decade. He married Meenakshi in 1967 in Madras. Under the mentorship of Professor Robert Khan, Dr. Arun received his PhD in Material Science and Engineering from the University of Wales, UK in 1965. Dr. V.S. Sarnachalam is an icon for me. When I had not joined the Department of Atomic Energy, I was a student. He had started his brilliant career at Baba Atomic Research Centre. I am one uh, who has known Arunachalam for a uh, pretty long time, maybe since uh, 1959 when he joined the Metallurgy Division of BARC. My association with Dr. Arunachalam has been since 1967. I met him for the first time when he came to teach us a part of mechanical metallurgy in our training school class in BARC. Arunachalam, known to me as Arun for a long, long time, greetings and salutations on this landmark birthday of 80 years. I first met you not in person but in print when I read a paper by you and two of your colleagues in Acta Metallurgica. I first met Dr. Arunachalam at the Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore in 1958. I have known him personally for nearly six decades and I am fortunate to be still counted among his friends. It has been a great pleasure and a privilege to have known Dr. Arunachalam in various capacities. First as the scientist at the top of the government science hierarchy, then as an academic when he was teaching in the US and again as scientist mentor and think tank head of C-STEP in Bengaluru. I had heard his name, V.S. Arunachalam, before I first met him in Pittsburgh in the late 1990s, but I did not know a whole lot about him. Since then, as I have interacted with him, I continue to be amazed by the depths of his knowledge, his thinking, his analytical mind and his experience. I have known and worked with Dr. Arun since the 1980s, both when he was the advisor for the Raksha Mantri and later as a colleague at Carnegie Mellon University. You have blessed, guided and supported not one, but two generations of scholars, researchers and leaders in various fields. My personal association with him was from the late 70s when he was the director of DMRL and I was looking forward to making a turbine disc using the powdered metallurgy route. I have known Dr. Arunachalam for the last 25 years. In addition to being a brilliant scientist, I found Arun a very able administrator and a most effective team leader. My association with Arun began in the year 1998 when I went to Carnegie Mellon University uh, for a PhD program. Dr. Arunachalam or Arun, or uncle as I used to call him, has known me longer than I have known him. He has known me since my birth. Over a period of time, Dr. Arun became a friend, philosopher, guide, guru, teacher, and many people looked up to him for advice. He is young among the young and wise among the wise, and sometimes the child among the wise, and sometimes wise among the children. And he would interact with you and leave behind a sense of something which would keep on ticking you. Along with uh, M.K. Asundi, who was our senior colleague, we formed a very good team and uh, we developed a very close uh, personal and uh, professional friendship uh, so that, uh, in fact, uh, other metallurgy friends used to call us the three, mus three musketeers of atomic energy. Arunachalam was not only a capable scientist, 
but uh, he could also establish a good rapport with all the ministers and the prime ministers with whom he came across. Our interest in alloy design is a common interest. I'm just showing the book here. It's edited by Ranganathan, Arunachalam and Khan. And that's a lifelong relationship with Robert Khan grew. And I think often that's a gift from you. Your ability to make friends is so enormous. But you are very generous about sharing your friendships. And I feel this relationship with Robert Kahn is an important part of it. The alloy design. It just seems a few days back that I and a friend of mine walked into Dr. Anachalam's office as an undergraduate for a summer internship. It has been a wonderful journey since then. Always inspiring, enriched with an eclectic vision, laced with humor and an enjoyment of life's possibilities. Dr. Arunachalam made numerous contributions to the nation in the field of science and technology. As scientific advisor to the Raksha Mantri, for over a decade, he initiated several major projects in DRDO, including the light combat aircraft and the integrated guided missile development program. My best wishes to Dr. Arunachalam and family on this happy occasion. I pray for his good health and happiness. Jai Hind! Dr. Arunachalam is an extraordinary individual. He is widely read, extensively travelled and phenomenally networked. His enlivening company leaves behind an indelible imprint on the minds of those around him. I was delighted that we were able to involve C-STEP in some of the work being done in the Planning Commission to explore India's future energy options. I hope a corporate sector, which now has an obligation under corporate social responsibility, will find it possible to help Dr. Arunachalam realize his dream. When I think of Arun, I, I think of, of four things primarily. Uh, first and perhaps most obvious is intelligence. Uh, he's got a remarkable intelligence that's uh, apparent to anybody who meets him. Uh, then I would say integrity. Uh, he, he's got a, a, a great core of values and belief and integrity, which is inspiring to all of those uh, who work with him. And then I would say his um, energy, which even at 80 is greater uh, than that of people decades younger than he is, and I've always marveled at that energy. And then last but certainly not least is his sense of humor. In the late 1980s, 1990s, we initiated the Sankhya Vahini project to provide high bandwidth connectivity to all of India. You've just been such an inspiration to me in my career and to so many people that you've really catalyzed change in this world and I just thank you so much. You know, particularly I've enjoyed working on the MRS Bulletin special issue, harnessing materials for energy and sitting side by side and writing as you sharpen a point and deepen a shadow, as you like to say. It's just been great and looking forward to more fun times ahead. I want to share some vignettes into the person that is Arun. Multidisciplinary, a music lover, an art lover, open, helpful. If I had to use one word to describe you, I would actually say humanist, even greater than scholar or scientist. Aeronautics was something which was not taking shape before Dr. Arunachalam came into the scene. It was his vision that resulted in the formation of Aeronautical Development Authority, ADA, a society for development of light combat aircraft. I have always found very impressive is his keen interest and in knowledge in other subjects as well, notably in Sanskrit and the scriptures. I consider myself fortunate that over my career, I had an opportunity to work with two wonderful people who I consider as my gurus. One is Shri S. V. Ranganath, uh, the former Chief Secretary of Karnataka, who is now on C-Step board, with whom I worked in the government. And second, of course, is Arun, uh, and with whom I have a very long association. As an advisor, Arun was outstanding. Uh, he gave a lot of freedom and a lot of flexibility and gave a long rope 
to all of us to do what we felt was interesting and challenging. You are an inspiration to me because you are a visionary the likes of whom India may not see in the future. I admire not just your ability to perceive the very real problems of tomorrow that very few people can see today or your capacity to engender solutions that even fewer people can create but your imagination and leadership. I have learned many things from Dr. Arun over the years and one thing that stands out is the importance of long-term friendships and collaborations. Arun has maintained an exceptional balance in personal and professional life and I admire him immensely for this quality. I also want to thank Meena ji for her affection and care since the first time I met her in 1998 in Pittsburgh. His energy and insightfulness have been awe-inspiring and has provided an exemplar for molding my individual career. His encouragement of my efforts has been particularly helpful and I remain grateful to him for having provided a platform on which we can put our best efforts to contribute to policy analysis for the inclusive benefit of our country. It's been great being at Seed Step with your inspiration, your encouragement and the enthusiasm that you have showed in the work that I do, that we do here. In my first interactions with Dr. Arun, we discovered that we shared an alma mater, the University of Sussex. Ponderings over coffees and lunches at Sea Step, where he insists that researchers at the very least share conversation, ranging from the role of science and policy to the greatest writers, technological advancements since the turn of the century, and the role of women in science. Working for you is such an honor. An experience I truly treasure. Your ability to convert mistakes into lessons and skills into strength are fantastic. Thank you so much for making my C-Step experience this wonderful. Dr. Arunachalam is an inspiration to many. He has touched countless lives. I feel blessed to be one among these many. It is an honor to be working in such close association with him. For me, it has been a learning experience each day and these learnings are not limited to my profession. I have been introduced to ragas, Sanskrit, epics of India, paintings, classic movies, music, the list goes on. I am blessed and honored to work with him and thank him on this special day for accepting me as his student, helping me rise in my learning curve. Dr. Arun's contribution and work has won several awards and recognitions. The key awards include the Shanti Swarup Bhatnagar Prize in 1980, Padma Bhushan in 1985, Padma Vibhushan in 1990, the Brahm Prakash Memorial Medal of INSA in 2007, Lifetime Achievement Award from Indian Institute of Metals in 2011 and recently the Lifetime Achievement Award from DRDO in 2015. Dr. Arun, we wish you all the best and many, many, many more happy years ahead. Wish you a very happy 80th birthday, Tata. We love you. Advika, Hari, Aditi, Kiran and Anya. I wish him all the best and also seized upon this 10th anniversary. On the occasion of Arun's 80th birthday, I wish him all the best and express my most sincere gratitude for the deep impact he had on me both personally and professionally. We wish you the best of health, happiness with both family and friends. We share some of this very well. But most importantly, there is much more to be done. The best is yet to come is what I would say to you Arun. And in that task, you have a large number of friends and others supporting you in this venture. To you and to Meena, who has been standing by you right through. God bless you and Meena, Malu, Raghu and Malu and their families. I wish Dr. Arunachalam and Mrs. Meena Arunachalam happy and peaceful times as Dr. Arunachalam moves ahead of his 80 years and gallops towards the century.
I want to congratulate Arun and all of his colleagues for this kind of latest of his many achievements uh, throughout his remarkable life. So again, happy birthday, Arun. I, for one, look forward to celebrating Arun's 100th birthday. Happy birthday, Arun, and many happy returns. Congratulations on your 80th birthday. Arun and Meena, I am blessed for having met you, for your taking me into your life and making me a virtual part of your family. The world is better off for your being the renaissance man that you are. Happy birthday. I wish Arun many happy returns of the day and continued good health, personal happiness and professional satisfaction. We cherish the long and close friendship with the Arunachalams from 1973. It has been an eventful, exciting and joyous relationship covering all aspects of our lives. He is not only versatile but a man for all seasons who has enriched our lives. We wish him many more years of health and happiness. We wish him many, many happy returns of the day. Hooray and well done Dr. Arunachalam. We are with you. I'd like to wish Arun a very, very happy birthday and uh, I wish you good health, very long life, and lots of happiness in the years to come. Happy birthday, Arun. Hope you live for many more years and see C-STEP as an institution grow to that dream that you have. My best wishes to Dr. Arun, Meenaji, and family on this happy occasion. Happy birthday, Dr. Arun, and God bless. A very, very happy birthday to you, Dr. Arunachalam. On this milestone birthday celebration, I wish him the very best and thank him for his guidance at C-Step. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Arunachalam. Happy birthday to you and many more.